Highway 11 between Nipigon and Hearst was shut down again this afternoon due to winter weather conditions. This comes following numerous collisions yesterday that closed parts of the Trans-Canada Highway, including one fatality. That happened yesterday afternoon on Highway 17 just east of Nipigon when a tractor trailer and a cube van collided head-on. OPP confirm a 61-year-old occupant of the van died at the scene while a second occupant was taken to hospital with critical injuries. Another crash involving two transports shut down Highway 11 just north of Nipigon last night. OPP say one person was taken to hospital with serious injuries. A third collision near Uppsala shut down Highway 17 from Shabaqua to Ignace. A tractor-trailer unit collided with a passenger, passenger vehicle, but there were no injuries reported to police. The issue of winter highway safety was raised today at Queen's Park. In the last year, we have seen an alarming increase in fatal collisions on our roads, particularly in the north. Injuries and fatalities are twice as likely to occur on a northern highway as compared to a highway in southern Ontario. Speaker, this is unacceptable. As the winter season is upon us, drivers in my riding of Thunder Bay at Okokan and across the north deserve certainty that the government is taking action to put their safety first. Speaker, can the Minister of Transportation please tell the House what our government is doing to support transportation safety in northern communities? Just recently, we created a new highway level of service that requires highways 11 and 17 in northern Ontario to be cleared within 12 hours after a winter storm, four hours faster than the previous standard. But Speaker, this is not a one-and-done deal for Northern drivers. We will continue to look for even more ways to support safer and more Spons. prosperous communities in the North. This was the view of Highway 1117 from the Nipigon River Bridge around 4 o'clock this afternoon, with transports backed up for several kilometres. There's no word yet from the MTO on when Highway 11 to Hearst will be ploughed and reopened.